Hello all the MFC enthusiastics and in this video I will be showing a couple of tricks uh, we can solve solve a couple of um, errors when we're using dialog boxes sometimes we get these ID errors when we are storing these things in a resource view uh, resource and uh, I will show how to fix these errors this happened to me many times in the past so I hope this is help helpful for everybody so to start with I will create a form form view a project and then we will see the problem there and I, I will show the fix so just we will create a uh, form view project so select MFC MFC app next and uh, maybe like a like a um, MFC I call it MFC form MFC form mm, well yeah just MFC form create single document yes remove all of those and ah uh, and here here we need to select the form view okay okay and here is the form view and I will build it first and then run it so this is what we have it's all good so far and I already um, listed the issues we have here so let's see if we get these issues here now so what I'm now trying to do is that I will create a control first of all I will create a control here so we go to the resource view and um, this is the this is the uh, dialog for that form I double click that one and um, now let me try to add a um, edit box there okay and I will name it somehow so I go to the properties and I will name it let's say edit well edit one is okay in this example it doesn't matter what it is really so here is the edit um, uh, the ID for the edit box and now what we normally want to do is that we want to add a variable linked to this edit box so we go here normally isn't it and we go here and we say add variable and value and let's say let's say we create uh, something like um, name okay and now if I create finish if I press finish it should create this variable now let's see if it happens aha and there we go so we get this error un unable to update do data exchange method so this is quite weird isn't it and Microsoft already knows about this error and I went to the forums and they kind of say that they are kind of if I understood correctly that they are fixing it in the next Visual Studio version this new Visual Studio is coming but this problem probably will remain I don't know I don't know but it might remain in the Visual Studio 19 so <laughs> I will show you now a couple of ways to fix this problem so if you create the form view you might get these problems so okay so I have a couple of ways to solve this problem the first way is that you can just manually add that variable there uh, I mean I mean the code you can manually add that code which is needed for that uh, for that operation to have that uh, variable so let's go and do that manually so what you can do is uh, this is the first way to fix it then I will show a second way so we will go to the form view h file uh, here form view and we can manually create that variable here for example in a protected section c string uh, m name and then we go to the cpp section and we can initialize obviously here you know normally if you want you can put the initialization code there for example let's say I want to say hello hello here oh it's a name so let's say John uh -huh, and like that 
yep and then as I put in a notepad we need to go to the do data exchange function and we need to add the exchange uh, code there so where is the do data exchange it's here okay so we need to go there and uh, we need to add that code here after the after the parent class do data exchange call we can add that here and now this id obviously needs to be the same as we have uh, there and i think it is correct if i go and let's go and double check that yeah i'm just gonna copy that just in case that it's not okay that seems to be okay and now i need to use that variable we just created here name and we need to place it there okay <coughs> and what else we need to do here yeah okay so let's see if it compiles now oh it does it does and i will show i will show that it really works now let me just quickly uh, create a button here just to prove that it works so i create a button here i don't really put any name i just i just do the handler i don't care what is the name of the button really let's just this is for just for testing purposes so afx afx uh, message box and then we will print that print that variable there um, this one it should show john okay and compile press the button there you go john and if i put two oh it doesn't yeah so obviously <laughs> this is uh need to do update update data here update uh, data i think it's update data which is doing the job say so run control f5 let's run it and uh, john and then john 2 okay john 2 okay so as we can see this now it works and uh, it compiles so this is the trick you can do Obviously, it's a little bit difficult to do it manually, so it's not really nice. But this is the this is the way you can do it. One way to do it. Um, and uh, just quickly go and try one more time. I'm not totally sure when it doesn't work and when it does work, but I just noticed that this is a problem here. So let me add another one here. Okay. And uh, there's uh, the ID is two. And what happens if I now add a variable again? Just do a value. And uh, I just put here um, name 2. And if I press finish now. Aha! <laughs> that one actually worked. Because I don't remember uh, how it works. So it seems that the first one doesn't work. And the second works. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Aha! So that's how it works. So the first one needs to be... Aha! But there is a mix mess up now here. I can see it did add it the here, but I think there's a mess up now uh, at the construction level, and this is because I'm probably put this. I put this in the wrong place. This initialization code, so the MFC is now confused. So let me now try to fix this problem. Okay, so there was uh, some confusion. Th there needs to be no except here, and so I moved both of the variables at the end. So it needs to be uh, like this. And uh, then if I compile, succeeded. And um, so now we have two variables. So that it seems to work. It seems to work after we added the first one. So that's the fix that we need to put the first one uh, uh, manually. And then it seems to work. Let me try one more time if I add the third one here. So I will add one more. Okay. And uh, now the now the ID is three. And let's create an integer variable now. Value. Int. And uh, that's going to be eight. Finish. Aha, uh -huh, it works. So as you can see. This problem only seems to be on the first time when we are doing it. 
and there is some confusion here so just need to be looking at this one i think i'm putting it somehow wrongly here that the um so need i need to keep fixing this um so need need to just find out how to put this one correctly here okay so it did it here again that it uh, put it in the wrong place here and i'm not actually sure why this happens but we can just manually fix this now so this belongs here like this and the no except um belongs um does it belong to here and if i now compile it yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure why that why that happens okay so it compiles and um if i put here it still works true true yeah so um if you get this problem just you can just manually go here and fix that at the moment i don't know why that happens that it messes up the constructor but anyway now it seems to work uh also from the resource view you, you can add it so it seems to me that only the first first uh needs to be done manually if, if you get this problem and another way you could uh, solve this problem is that you can you can go here and create and add add uh from the from the wizard you can add yourself um a form view from here mfc class and then let's call it form form view two and it will be inherited from c form form view okay and then press okay And now we can link that form view number two into the uh, into the uh, application. So we go here in the app app class, and we can include that here. So it's a form form view two, and uh, we can replace that uh, where we are creating the views, which is here. We can uh, use this new view instead like that so now it's using this document this frame and this view and if we go to the resource view now so here is the now the here is now the dialog box for that form and um, now if i add the but uh, edit control now here and save and we can go we can use the same it's a different dialog so we can use the same or i can just maybe change it let's change it to test and now um, if I create a variable name name 2 yeah it worked it worked and now if I go to just to see that it's really using that one let me add here one more thing a static test test okay and now let's go and now let's go and uh, run this one so this time we are using this number two uh, control f5 so as you can see it's now using the number two so we can delete that original one and use this one <laughs> and there's no problems at all so there are two ways to fix that problem so the next i'm gonna talk about um the id issues so let's go and look at my list here okay so let's talk about now changing the ids so let's go now to the current one what we are using so we're currently using this dialog and um, let's go and look at this look at this id id here so at the moment i'm having idc edit test okay and let's go now see where the visual studio is saving that um, id to do that we go to the resource hates double click say yes and it should be here at the bottom somewhere so here it is so we can see that 
here is the ID, so it, its value is 1004. And here you can see that the which value it's going to use next time when it's uh, creating a uh, control value. It's going to use ID 1005. We can actually manually change this. Let me just illustrate that. If I would have uh, 57 and save, it should create next an ID with 57. Let's go and just quickly test that. So I close this, H, and now we go back to the we need to update this here and then we go back there and let's create a new um, new edit box for example it could be any control by the way and it would use that new ID there even if you are using combo box or anything uh, okay so I will create a new um, and I will call it new test new test okay enter save and close this one and let's go now and see the value yes so we go to the resource heights and we will see which integer value belongs to that and as we can see it is 57 and the next one will be 58 so this is how you can change um, which integer value is linked to this um, this um, macro value Okay, and now I want to show another thing here is that if we if we keep changing this name that we are not happy with this name and we want to change it, let's see what happens. So I close this one. Go here, update this one. And then uh, double click this one. So currently we have um we have ID which is um like this. Let me actually use this one maybe. Let me use this one, the first one. So it's called IDC Edit Test. Okay. And uh, do we already have a variable for it? So let's go and see. So we go to the corresponding um, form view class. And I, I think we already created, yeah. So from here, do data exchange, we can see that we are currently using that that edit box because this ID is the same as in the resource view so we already created a string variable which is linked to that that, uh, that one so let's say now that we want to change this ID we are not happy with this this name let's see what happens I will just add a 2 there so we know what's happening here let's say that we are not happy with this and I want actually this one so add 2 enter and now I I close this one. Let's go and see from the resource heights what happened. Press OK. Yes. OK. And there it is. You see, the old one is here. And here is the new one. And the interesting thing is that, as you can see, it it uh, it keeps the old one but it also added the new one and now they both have the same ID and I guess the reason is that because it's the same control so the ID is still the same but it has now two two macro variables having the same ID so you can use this one or this one whatever you want in the code okay that's all good but what happens now if I change it third time let's go and see close this one and go back here let's say that again we are not happy for some odd reason we are not happy with this name but hey hey i want it to be actually test three okay enter and now close this uh save uh, save all close this and then i go and let's go and see the resource hates now And the current current one is number four, so it keeps adding it here. Okay, it's number number three. So now any of these will work because they all have this one thousand one thousand four. And I'll do it one more time.
Okay, so now we can see that the number two has disappeared actually. So this is, I don't really know actually this logic that, um, what is the logic bit in here? That why does it delete some of them and some of them it doesn't delete? So I already added four of them here and the number two is missing. So what happens if I do it one more time? <laughs> Let's see. And as we can see now, also the number the number two uh, uh, number three is now also missing. So there are two. Uh, not missing really, but the, the Visual Studio deleted them. So, um, so just to be mindful now, um, it because it might delete this one actually. It might delete the old one because it happened to me before. So it, it's possible that what we have here is that it only saves a couple of them, the latest two or latest three. So let's say that the Visual Studio this time decided to do like this. So it, it only saves the last two. So if I now save all, And then close this and uh, let's go somewhere here and then I build so now obviously we get we get this problem now that it doesn't find the ID because the Visual Studio deleted some of them so this can happen this can happen that it deletes the ID which you are using in the form view class so in this case it's it's just simply that you have to come here and you have to put the latest one here, which is, I think it is four. We just have to fix that and then come here. So if you are changing changing the ID, then just remember to go there and change it here as well. And then uh, the one more thing here is that um, you are free to delete the ones which you are not using here, a little, little bit clean this. So at the moment we are only using the number four, for example, so we can delete this one. And um, yeah, so you can delete the extra ones. No, that's that's okay. So next, let's go and uh, change the. Okay, so when I deleted it from the resource page, now I get this kind of error. <laughs> so. Um, I'm just showing kind of fixes for all kind of errors you might have when you are running uh, MFC. So now we get this kind of error that this number five doesn't exist in a RC file. Okay, so that's number five. I will write it down. Okay, it's just good to know how to fix these errors what you see here. So we can close this, write down the ID, and then write down the name of the file where we, where the problem is. And the line is actually 451, isn't it? So it's there is the line number also. So write down all of these and then we close. Oh, actually it says that edit the code. Okay, actually there's an edit code, so let's press that one. Okay, so there it is. So here you can see that um, it has the old value 5 here for the edit box. This resource uh, definition file. So now we just need to remember which one we are using currently. So we can just simply change that to 4 here. And then uh, save. And there we go. So now it works. So this is just to show that um, if we get these uh, different kind of error messages, how to fix them. So now let's go and uh, see the main form again. So we go here. And um, <coughs> let's say that we want to change the ID of the form itself, the dialog ID. At the moment, at the moment, this is the this is the ID name it has. So let's say we want to name it. Actually, we want to change it to main main um, main frame view main frame view. Enter. Save all. So let's see what happens now. Actually, I'm not totally sure what happens in all but we're gonna fix all the problems we're gonna have so we just go uh, to the code and just press build 
and succeeded. Okay, and let's go now and see uh, why, it ex um, why it succeeded. So we can go to the resource view. This is the old one. Double click the resource H. And now let's see. And there it is. This is the old one. And this is the new one. And as we can see, the reason why it works is because the old one has the same integer value as the new ID. So that's why even if you're using the old one still in the code, it will work. But obviously in a real in a real life, in a real life we, we, we might want to remove this. So let's see what happens if we remove it. We might get other error messages now, but let's just try what happens. So delete, save, close the file. And now we need to go to the hates file. This is the form view. And as we can see here, it's using the old one. So I need to put here. Okay. And um, right. Okay. And then we can go to the CPP file and find, try to find it from here. And there it is. It's here as well. So we need to put that same ID in the CPP file constructor. Okay. And let's see now what happens. If we are lucky, it compiles. If not, we need to fix more. Ah, and we are lucky and it works. So that's how you can, you can uh, fix um, or change um, the ID of the dialog box. And um, yeah. And this is basically what I have, just a short video to show a couple of tricks and how to fix the resource view and the resource hates file uh, when you see errors like this. And as I said, um, you can always go to resource hates and uh, you can clean, clean this up if you want, uh, because it keeps adding them sometimes and it doesn't delete the old ones. But this is just kind of visual thing. You can leave them here. Actually, I never really clean this myself normally I just leave them um, but if you want you can clean it thank you for watching and see you next time